Illustrative Math, Algebra 2, Unit 4, Lesson 10 is called Interpreting and Writing Logarithmic Equations. All right, so our goal today is to understand how to evaluate a logarithmic expression. So the expression log base 10 of 1000 equals 3 can be read as the log base 10 of 1000 is 3. It can be interpreted as the exponent to which we raise a base of 10 to get 1,000 is 3. Take turns with your parting, partner reading each equation out loud, and then interpret what they mean. Okay, so I got the first one written here. Um, I would read it as log base 10 of 100 million is 8. And then I would say the exponent to which we raise a base of 10 to get 100 million is 8. I'm also maybe on the left side here, I'm going to write it in <clears throat> exponential form. So this is going to be 10 to the eighth equals 100 million. Okay, the next one is 10 to the zero equals one. And you might say, where am I getting those, those numbers from? Well, you should know that if I have B to the x equals y. This is exponential form. If I want to write that in log form, it's going to be log base b of y equals x. So you're just moving the pieces. Okay, the next one. I'll do it in different color, I guess. <clears throat> log base 10 of 1 is 0. I would interpret it as the exponent to which we raise 10, raise a base of 10, a base of 10 to get one is zero. <clears throat> All right, the next one here is two to the zero equals one. And how would I interpret that? Well, let's say log, I'd read it as log base two of one is zero. And I would interpret it as the exponent to which we raise a base of 2 to get 1 is 0. <clears throat> and then the last one would be 5 to the second equals 25. That's exponential form. And if I wanted to write it out and interpret it, <clears throat> log base 5 of 25 is 2. Now interpret it as the exponent to which we raise a base of 5 to get 25 is 2. <clears throat> All right, so here's a table. This time we we're using base 2. If you watched my video from 4.9, we used base 10. So here's my table here. Um, some of these are whole numbers. So like this one here, this 32 and 5. Notice this is log base 2 of x. So you're thinking, okay, if x is 32, it's like log base 2 of 32. So what would that equal? Well, 2 to what power gives you 32? And the answer is 5. Okay. <clears throat> Some of the other whole number ones, like the 4 here, again, it's log base 2 of 16. So we're saying 2 to what power would give you 16? And the answer would be 4. Okay. So 
let's take a look at these. Um, use the table to find the exact or approximate value. So log base two of two. So here's my, I'm looking for this to be two because the base is already there. It's always a base two with these tables. So that would be one log base two of 32. I kind of already did that. That was five log base. This one in your book should say 15. So I'm going to put it over here. See is log base two of 15. So that's right there. So that's 3.9069. And then this one log base two of 40 is right here. So that's 5.3219. Now, if you didn't have these tables, what does that mean? Um, let's do some of these decimal ones. Maybe do the last one, log base 2 of 40. Remember, if I didn't have what it was equal to, you're kind of thinking of it as equal to question mark. So you're saying 2 to the question mark equals 40. So you got to find a power. So I know 2 to the 5th is 32. So the only way to do it is to just kind of like, plug them into your calculator, keep getting bigger than five, you know, I'd maybe start with like 5.1 and then 5.2. And eventually you can get it pretty close. Um, now there's better ways with algebra to than trial and error, but for now we're just kind of getting familiar with this stuff. So the only way that we really know is to just kind of plug in numbers to our calculator and grind it out. All right. So solve each equation. Write it as a single logarithmic expression. So this is going to be log base 2 of 5 equals y, <clears throat> which that's the second part, right, is a log. I'm going to do them kind of backwards, log base 2 of 5. So there's my first part. Second part, I'm just going to go here to when, when that x here is 5. So it's like I plug this 5 in here for x, so it's log base 2 of 5. So that's going to be 2.3219. This is going to be log base 2 of 70 equals y. Now the problem is I don't, my table stops at 40. So what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to kind of just plug in numbers for, for this. I'm going to say 2 to what power equals 70. Or I guess I could have left that as y. And then I'm just going to kind of just see what I get. I'm just going to plug a bunch of stuff into my calculator until I kind of get close. Um, so I might have to plug in different values over and over again. But you should get somewhere around like 6.129 is what I got. All right. So, <clears throat> and then same idea here, log base 2 of 999 equals y. So, um, <clears throat> again, same idea, 2 to what power equals 999. You're going to trial and error it until you find it. And the answer is going to end up being something like 9.964. And these are like pretty sensitive. So I would take it out always to at least three, maybe even four decimal points like they did here. Okay. So you got, you know, if I were to round it here to like the hundredth even, like if I plugged it in two to the 9.96, let's say I rounded it. Let's say I didn't have this four here. If I plugged in 9.96, two to the 9.96, you're going to see that it's not... as accurate because it equals 995 point well we'll round it to 996 but it's still not equal to the 999 so so yeah you want to take it out further <clears throat> all right so we're going to kind of complete this table here so remember b Exponential form, we said b to the x equals y. If I want to move that into log form, I would say log base b of y equals x. 
Okay, so you're kind of thinking of like, okay, where do you move the pieces? So here's my X, here's my X, here's my base, here's my B for base, and then here's my Y. Whoops, let me use a different color. Here's my Y. Here's my Y. So you're kind of just moving everything according to this formula. So this one's going to be log base 2 of 2 equals 1 log base 10 of 1 equals 0. And again, just, just to make sure you follow it here, there's my yellow, there's my yellow, my blue is my base, blue goes down in the basement, sometimes I say, or my base is in the basement, there's my exponent, and it's always equal exponent. Okay, equal starts with the knee, so as exponents, I think of those two kind of the same there. Um, <clears throat> all right, so this is 3 to the 4 equals 81. 5 to the 0 equals 1. This is log base 10 of 1 tenth equals negative 1. Log base 9 of, nope, I did that wrong, of 3. equals one half, two to the negative three equals one eighth. This is log base two of 15 equals y, five to the y equals 40. And then this is kind of what we did up here. The only thing is the y and the x are switched here. so. It's going to be a little different, so it's going to be log base b of x equals y because the exponent always goes over on the right. b for your base always goes down in the basement, and whatever the base to the power equals goes right next to the logarithm. <clears throat> All right, write two equations, one in exponential form. One in logarithmic form to represent each equation, use question mark for the unknown. To what exponent do we raise the number 4 to get 64? So I'm going to say 4 to what exponent equals 64. And then I'm going to say, okay, log base 4 of 64 is the exponent we're looking for. So there's that one. To what is the log base 2? of 128 so log base 2 of 128 is what we're looking for and that would be 2 to what power equals 128 all right so on to our lesson synthesis so how are how are log base 2 of 60 log base 5 of 60 and log base 10 of 60 alike, how are they different? So we are trying to find the exponent to which we raise a base to get 60. So that would be alike. But what's different is they all have different bases. Okay, so for instance, this is 2 to what power equals 60, this is 5 to what power equals 60, and this is 10 to what power equals 60. So we're looking for an exponent to get 60, but the base is different every time. All right, is this true? 100 is my base to the 1 half equals 10. Yes, because... 100 to the 1 half means the square root of 100, which we know is 10. So, yes, 10 equals 10. It's true. So, yes. How might we write the solution to 2 to the y equals 36? Well, you could say log base 2 of 36 equals y. Since that's y equals, that would be my solution. 
All right, so does it matter if we write log base 2 of 36 or 5.169925? Is there a difference? So, yes, there is a difference, and yes, it does matter. So what I would say here is I would say that, um, oops, I would say the logarithm form is exact and the uh, 5.169925 is rounded or approximate, okay? I would also say the 5.169925 is more practical though because we know about what the value is. Okay, if I were to say log base 2 of 36, you, you're not going to really know what that is. But if I say 5.169925, you know what that number number means a little bit more. All right, we learned that 7 squared equals 49. Log base 7 of 49 equals 2 are equivalent. How would you explain to someone why we consider these two equations as equivalent, even though they don't look alike? All right, what I would say to them is they are just in different forms, is what I would say. One is in exponential form, and the other is in logarithm form. Suppose some number n raised to exponent y has a value of 200. I'm going to write that out. n to the y equals 200. How can we express this in exponential form? So there is exponential form. And then log form would be log base n of 200 equals y. <clears throat> All right, so our goal, I understand how to evaluate a logarithmic expression. Um, hopefully you met that goal today. And then our cool down here, right? Log base 2 of 16 equals 4 in exponential form. 2 to the 4th equals 16. Logarithmic form. Log base 5 of 1 over 25 equals negative 2. And explain why log base 2 of 1 equals 0. So I'd say 2 to the 0 equals 1. And... Obviously, 2 to 0 is 1. 1 is equal to 1. So I would say yes. <clears throat> All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you on the next one.